Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about using servo motors, um, specifically with the micro bit and this REKA -E bit um, expansion board. So firstly, we've got to plug our servo motor in. The servo motors are connected at the top right hand corner here. Um, and just make sure that you get the orange wire aligned with the S for signal. Um, and then the brown wire is ground. So make sure you plug your servo motor in the right way. Uh, we're using servo number one for this demonstration. So if we hover over to the make code website, you can see I've I've got the extension for the REKA bit. Um, if you ha don't have that yet, go to extensions, search for it, download it. We need to use that. Um, and there's some things here we can use to control servo motors. So this set servo motor is the one that we're interested in. To start with, let's put a set servo one um, on button A and button B. And we're going to kind of calibrate it. Um, the little robotic claws that I've got here, they can't open all the way and they obviously can't close all the way. I'll show you what I mean, but they have a clutch in there and we've got to calibrate the angles um, on this MakerCode website to suit the specific claw system that we're using or whatever we want our servo motor to do. So let me show you how to do that. If we've got this code and we've got it plugged in and download, I've calibrated this. I'll show you what it does and then we'll talk about how to adjust it. So on button A, it closes the grippers. On button B, it opens the grippers. Simple enough. If I change the ratio here, the angle, sorry, for position A. So say I went from 118 and I, I go max to 180 degrees. I'll download the code again, again and I'll show you what that does. So I'll close the grippers. See how unhappy that is? Like there's a clutch inside the servo motor and the servo motor can't close as far as we're asking it to. And so it kind of makes that weird noise. And obviously we, we don't want that. That's stressing things out. So I have found out that with these grippers for me, the way I put this together, about 120 is as far as I can go to close my grippers. And the same 80 degrees is about as far as I can go to open my grippers. So I adjust my code, download that again, and it should be back to good. All right, that's pretty simple. We have the same if I want to use servo two to adjust the kind of the tilt. I plug it in the right way. There we go. Now I'm going to um, pop this little part of code up here. I've just got a, a pause and then I'm adjusting servo two. So I have found that zero degrees and 41 degrees work for me or 40 degrees your numbers will be different. So you'll have to experiment to make that work. Maybe tackle one servo motor at a time. Quickly download this code. You'll see servo motor one will, will move when I push button A and then servo motor two. Um, so it didn't move because the, the position is already up for the second servo motor. If I push this one, it'll open and then go down. Yep, that's how we use servo motors.